Hi, welcome to Studio Y. My name is Courtney and this is Bernadette and we are going to be doing a 45 minute full body TRX workout today. Here we go. So we're going to start with a warm up. We want our straps in mid length and we're going to start with a basic squat row. So you want your arms under your armpits by your sides. You want to lean back on the balls of your feet. We're going to hinge, squat down, drop your bum to the floor, come up, row in, chest to the anchor point. Back out, warming up the body, driving that chest to the anchor, keeping your arms in by your side, and keeping an active plank the whole time. Today we're going to do four circuits of work. The first three are going to be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. And then the last circuit for core is 30 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest. Let's do a couple more right here. Down and up. One more. Down and up. Perfect. Next up is the hip hinge. So you want to face the anchor point. Arms about a handstand width in front of you. You're going to stabilize yourself on your left leg. You're going to shoot your right leg back. Bringing your arms forward, trying to keep your hips parallel to the floor. And come up, switch sides. And your tailbone should be like a tabletop. So if I was going to put a cup of coffee on there, it should not fall off. Or a glass of wine. <laughs> Lean forward and up. Really opening up the hips. Let's do one more on each side. Bringing that foot back and sending those arms forward. I know, working on our balance. And great. All right, let's warm up the lower body. So we're going to face away from the anchor point. Arms out in front of us. We're going to lunge forward, bring our arms up into an eye, and then come back. Lunge forward on the other foot. Arms come up into an eye. Making sure that knee tracks over that ankle on the front foot. Making sure your back knee gets down to the ground. Let's do one more on each side and then we'll open it to a T. One more here and then bring your arms out wide. Really feeling a nice stretch through the chest, through the back. Nice job. Let's do one more on each side and then we'll go back up to an I. And then up to an eye right here. Always keeping an active plank. Belly is drawn in. And last one right here. Good job. <laughs> the last one in this warm up is wall slides. <laughs> warm it up. Warm it up. And for the wall slides, you want your fingers pressed against the handles and you want to walk forward until you find tension on those straps, and you want your body in a straight line up and down, belly's pulled in, and you're going to start by bringing your right arm down, elbow to your side, and back up, right arm down, left arm down. Again, working on our shoulder mobility, getting nice and warm, nice job. And throughout this whole workout, your core should be engaged the whole time. Um, one of the mottos of TRX is all core all the time, so no matter what you're doing, you should have an active plank. When we're at the top, let's bring both down. There we go. Nice job. Let's do two more. One. And two. Excellent. All right, let's get started. You ready? Okay. All right, so we're going to start with our, so throughout this um, 45 minutes, we are going to have a few strap changes in between with quick transitions. We only have 20 seconds, so just listen up. Um, I tried to do it so you don't have to move the straps too much. <clears throat> Excuse me, but for this first one, you want to start in short. So you want to lift that yellow tab all the way up to the top. Um, another thing is these exercises can be done from home, whether you have used your TRX um, using the door anchor or if you've suspended it from the ceiling. Everything can work no matter if you're up against a door 
or if it's coming straight up our head. <coughs> Start the timer. So the first exercise before we get started is going to be a low row to a high row. So you're going to start with your arms in by your side. You're going to row in. And then when you go out, you're going to flip your palms to the ground. And then row up shoulder height. So we're going to start that in three, two, and begin. So you want to drive your chest to the anchor point. Back down. Flip your palms and row up. In. And up. And challenge yourself. If it's too easy, you want to step closer to the anchor point. The closer you are to the anchor point, the more challenging it is. If you're having a tough time, you just have to back up. But either way, your core is tight, your hips aren't sagging, your body should be completely like a surfboard. Nice job with five seconds. Three, two, and rest. We're going to flip these down to mid in length, so right where the gray and black meet, or sometimes there's like a little seam there. And next up is going to be bicep curls, so you want to flip your palms to the ceiling, locking your elbows in place. Begin, you want to bring pinkies to the temples, so you want to go down. Elbows should be pointing at the wall in front of you. Slow and controlled. Find your angle. You probably won't be able to get as deep as you were on the row, but you just want to make sure your elbows are not like this. It should be slow and controlled, and your bicep should be doing all the work. Pinkies to temples. Good job. You got five seconds. And rest. <clears throat> Roll those shoulders back. Okay. We have one more in the circuit, and then we're going to repeat those exercises one more time. So the next up is the curtsy lunge. You want to stabilize yourself on your left foot. You're going to float your knee past that left ankle, and you're going to drive that knee up. Float and drive that knee up. You want to make sure that that left knee is tracking over that ankle and that it's not going out to the side. Chest is lifted. And again, slow and controlled. TRX is all about time under tension. It's not about how many reps you can do. It's all about being slow and intentional in every movement. 10 seconds. Chest is up, core is tight. Three. Two, and rest. We're going to switch to the other side. And so this time, when you're shooting your left leg back, the load is all on that right hip. All right, stabilize yourself. We've got five seconds, and then we're going to start from the top. Three, two, and 40 seconds. Curtsy, drive that knee up. Curtsy, and up. Making sure that knee is staying over that ankle. Core is tight. This is good balance. Very good. Yeah. Light grip on the handles. And a modification too could have been, if you had to, is tapping. If you can't, float your knee. And rest. All right, we're going to go back to short because we're going to repeat that. The low row, high row. Then the bicep curl. Then the curtsy lunge. And then we get a minute rest before we go to the next circuit. So let's find our angle for the low row. Core is tight and begin. When you're rowing into, you want to make sure you're looking at the anchor point. You want to make sure you're not looking straight ahead. Your whole body should be in alignment. Nice job. Time under tension. At no point should you be falling backwards too. Everything is controlled. Ten seconds. 
You got it. Three, two, and rest. Roll it back. We're going to go to biceps. Again, find your angle. You want to make sure your elbows are locked and all the work is being done in your biceps. Set yourself up in three, two, and go. Elbows are parallel to the ground. And see, I forgot to put the strap back to mid leg. That's all right. Nice job. Core is tight. Your body is like a surfboard as it goes back. You have an active plank. Your hips aren't sagging. You're breathing. You've got it. Ten seconds. Five, three, two, and one. Let's whip those down to mid for the curtsies. We're going to do the same thing that we did, and again, an option is to tap your foot if you do not want to float it. So let's stabilize ourselves on that left leg, shooting the right leg back, and begin. Curtsy, driving that knee up. Making sure you're not rounding your back, your chest is staying up nice and tall. Nice job. Light grip on those heels. Feeling all the work on that left hip. Keeping that knee over that ankle. Five seconds. Three, two, and rest. One more side. One more side, then we're going to make a break. Okay. <laughs> this will be good. Last time we're doing the curtsy lunge. So, deep breath right here. Stabilize yourself on that right leg. We're sending the left leg in three, Two and 40 seconds. Trying to get that knee past that right ankle if you can. And again, an option is to tap if you need to. Nice job. Chest is lifted, shoulders are away from your ears. We got it. Ten seconds. Whew, feels so good. Five, three, two, and rest. All right, grab a drink. We have a minute. Trying to get that 
knee back, chest is up. Nice job. All right, I'm going to switch the other leg. I'm going to move this in the front so I can see. Here we go. Let's get that left leg in. This one's tougher. But, you know, it's funny you say that by everyone has a side that's stronger. Here we go, down and up. This is the side for me that just seems to work better. My other side, not as strong. The range of motion isn't as good for some reason. This is my side. And remember, if you need to come down, come down. If you want to challenge, you put your palms together. Nice job. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Here we go. Five, three, two, and rest. Excellent. Woo! I know that's a good one. That's all a good right. one. We're going to lengthen it all the way and we're going to go into chest press. So you want to stand facing away from the anchor. Arms up in front of you. Straps should not be hitting your shoulders. If they're hitting your shoulders, lift your arm. Find your angle. You're going to bring your chest to the floor and back up. Just an active plank. If you're new to TRX, you can stagger your foot. That will help you. If you want to challenge, the closer your feet are to the anchor point, the harder it's going to be.
every 10 seconds. Sideways, arm closest to the anchor over the handle, 
foot closest to the anchor in front. You're going to place your opposite hand over the hand that's holding it. Put your hands into your sternum. Come out straight. You're going to lean back. Using your core, bring yourself up. This is the rotis. I can't just talk. Rotisserie chicken. Resisted rotation. So you want to like a cylinder and then shoot yourself up. Fifteen seconds. It's weird because I do these at home and the TRX is so high here compared to when you have a door right there. Three, hold on, five seconds. Three, two, and we're going to switch sides. So again, arm closest to the anchor holds the handle. Leg closest to the anchor is in front. Put your other hand over it. Arms into your sternum. They're going to come out. And then you're going to rotate to the side. And begin. Well, I would have you put the you all that work to get you back up. And the floor is slippery. Rotation. 
This time you want your right arm up the strap. You might need to move your feet a little to find the right angle. Three, two, and drop back and drive up. Again, core is tight. Body is still like surfboard.
We only got four exercises left, that's it. All right, toes in. <laughs> 30 seconds, let's get into our plank and begin. You can either hold this plank or for some extra work, some abduction and adduction. If at any time you need to drop down to your knees, drop down to your knees. If you want to do your plank on the elbows, you can do that as well. Three, two, and rest. Yes. All right, next three. <laughs> I saved the three hardest for last. So, the first one is the atomic push-up. Oh, uh, I know. Uh -huh. 30 seconds, you're gonna bring your knees into chest, feet back out, push up, and repeat. And what's my modification? You're gonna come down to your knees for the push up. So, the regular one is knees in, out. Push up. If at any time, come down to your knees. We got it, 10 seconds.
so good. Ooh, feel that stretch. Now bring your right arm up, left arm down. Pushing your fingers into those straps. Nice job. And back out to the side. And other arm. Excellent. And back out. And drop your straps. Deep breath in. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yay.